The first thing we want to do is remove our dipstick. This is going to help the crankcase vent properly when draining the engine oil. Now using a 17 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. As the engine oil is draining, now is a good chance to check the condition of the crush washer. If it's damaged or missing, you'll want to replace it to prevent any future leaks. And we'll go ahead and reinstall this drain bolt and torque it to 22 foot-pounds. Now, using a 65 millimeter oil filter wrench, we'll go ahead and remove the old existing oil filter so we can replace it with our new one. Yamaha pre-lubricates these oil filters from the factory, so there's no need to apply a thin coat of oil on the gasket. We simply just thread it back in place and torque it to 12 foot-pounds. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Yamaha recommends that this unit hold just a little over 2 quarts, 2.11 to be exact, of 10W40 ATV engine oil. Now we'll reinstall our dipstick. And now we're going to start the engine up, let it idle for just a few moments. That's going to get the oil circulated through the system properly. Once it's idled for a few moments, we'll go ahead and shut it down and let it sit. That's going to help us achieve an accurate oil level reading. Now we'll simply remove the dipstick and wipe off the excess oil and then thread the dipstick all the way back down, and pull it out and check our oil level. We want it to be in the middle to upper portion on the dipstick and that looks perfect. So let's hit the trail guys. 